So, it's been a week since the Olympic Games ended. We're still feeling something of a buzz from all the performances. Team GB brought home 14 gold medals. Among them were rowers Emily Craig and Imogen Grant, who dominated the women's lightweight double skulls. Here's their winning moment. We've got them here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Good morning. What's it like watching it? Are you bored of it yet? <laughs> no, no. I will never be bored of it. <laughs> Did I just hear you say to one another, oh, that's us? <laughs> that's us. That Does it us still feel team, a bit like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Do you, uh, like, what, what is it like looking at that moment? What, what is the feeling? How many times have you looked, watched it back? Oh, a I lot. think I've only watched it back twice and that was in the car on the way to do all of our post-racing sort of media stuff. That's not much so this might no. have been just the third time you've, yeah. you've seen that back. When yeah. you watched it back were you kind of, we could have done that better or we could have done that better or were you just like oh, No so I good. think what was really nice about that final was it was our best race. <laughs> what made it did it just feel as soon as you were you set off did it just feel that you, you it was going to be good? Yeah, I mean, when we woke up that morning, we didn't acknowledge it to each other, but I think we both woke up thinking... And your motivation, like, your history from the last Games. Yeah, so obviously we came fourth in Tokyo by a hundredth of a second. One one hundredth yeah. of a and second. and we were half a second off the gold, so it was a proper blanket finish, very tight. And I think one thing that was very nice, we kind of went away, we took some time and we came back and we definitely both came back with the attitude of the next time we're sat on that Olympic start line, it's not going to be, oh, is there a chance of us getting a medal? It's going to be, we are here for a medal. And you had the photo. Did, whose wall was it on? That's on my wall. It is still there. <laughs> it's because <laughs> lots of people have said, are you going to take it off? And you've just said, actually, no, this no, is part of my journey. It this is. is... Um, I recently went to go and get the... So you get certificates... Um, so we've got a very nice gold certificate and I've gone to get that framed. So that's going to be joining the wall. Wow. So uh, talk to us a little bit about the emotions immediately afterwards. She's so focused. I think we've all got a pretty clear picture now. You two knew what was going to happen and you delivered. So that's that's almost mechanics, isn't it? And then it ends. And I don't know who's can you see people in the crowd? Are you straight away? Do the, does, how did it work, the emotions? Where did that kick in? I think, so a lot of champions talk about a feeling of relief when they cross the line. Um, and actually, for me, it was disbelief almost of, oh my gosh, we'd actually done it. There's six boats in a rowing final and I counted, you know, one, two, three, four, five, that I could see them before I was like, ah, we've, we've won. <laughs> um, and then look, looked up to the right-hand side, which is where the, the grandstand was, which had something like 15,000 people, which is so many people for rowing. And, and finally, I think the noise came in at that point. And I think you were like, no. oh, <laughs> we've, we've got to celebrate now. <laughs> yeah. And the faces, can you see family and friends? Is it that clear? Can you home no, people? No, sadly not. When did you get to have that moment? When you come back to land, obviously. Yeah, so when we landed for the, the medal ceremony, um, most of our friends and family managed to make it down to the front so we could sort of reach up and hold hands. The, the Olympic whole thing. experience? Yeah. yeah. What was that like? <laughs> because I've heard quite a few athletes sort of saying, you're there in the Olympic Village and then there's somebody who you think, I'll never be near them in my life. Was there any moments like that, who's, people you've got to meet or environments you found yourselves in? Yeah, I think the whole thing was quite crazy. Uh, I mean, from the, like, uh, Champions Park parading in front of the Eiffel Tower on a catwalk in front of thousands of people was quite surreal. <laughs> Um, I got to meet um, Alona Meyer, who is bronze medal in the US Women's Rugby Sevens, who I really admire. Um, and also, for me, I also really love weightlifting. So watching Emily Campbell win her bronze on the final day was absolutely amazing. And there was a big group of us rowers that all went together to watch and try and make as much noise from the stands as we could. It is, it, there is a real Team GB feeling, isn't mm. there? Because obviously, rowing, you kind of know your rowers in, in kind of your field, but you don't get that opportunity to all get together like that. No, and it was so different from Tokyo where you kind of COVID. felt like you had to avoid other sports because it was like, oh yeah, COVID. Whereas this time it felt like such a, such a massive team. Did you use your gold medals as passes to get into places in Paris? Mm, you know you could have done. You know you could have done. You could have. <laughs> there, there are stories. That I think it was in Sydney. You can just go around. You can flash around your, your if you at the time of the Sydney Olympics, flash around your gold medal and you'd get into anywhere. I mean, I think word would kind of go through the team as to where the freebies were available, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and so you'd sort of plan your day around. Okay, well we need to visit this place. 
Um, I don't think either of us made it up the Eiffel Tower, though, unfortunately, which mm. is a bit, a bit of a shame. There's time. There's time. Yeah. So talk to us about now. Uh, I think well, I know a little bit more about your story, I think, because you, you are you are a doctor. Three days in. <laughs> this, this, so you st you went back to work on on Wednesday. Day? Wednesday, yeah. And that was your f is that your first job? F yeah, first ever real job. Um, what, first what is day it? on Wednesday. What are you? What is the? Are you a GP? What are you? Um, a I'm a junior doctor. Uh, so I graduated from my medical degree last year. Um, took last year out to row full time and managed to win a medal. Um, and then started work as a foundation year one doctor um, out in Slough. What was it like by giving back? Oh, it was, going to work. Oh, it was so amazing, actually. Um, they made a cake for me and put up bunting on my ward. That's what we can see now. Yeah, I mean, it's an these guys are the cake. nurses on the ward, and they everybody has been just the most supportive in the last three days. I mean, it's bonkers that I'm currently now working full time, but I could not be better supported. You know, everyone in the NHS is just incredible. Do you know people oh. are going to double take when you oh. go to examine them? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Um, I, I I have been taking my gold medal with me because I have been asked for um, people to see it. Um, but yeah, I, hopefully it's a positive thing. You know, gives people motivation oh, to absolutely. get better. What about you, Emily? So I'm I'm busy buying a flat. <laughs> um, so that's a lot of my time, um, and then kind of just taking stock, enjoying the moment, and then our event isn't going to be in the next games in LA. So the lightweight double has been taken out of the programme. So we'd either need to go open weight or change to beach sprints, um, which is a new discipline. So it's kind of... So it's not the end of the partnership? Not necessarily. No. We are actually going to go out to Boston and do Head of the Charles in a few weeks. So yeah, it's definitely not the end of the partnership just yet. <laughs> and on the upside, the result of the event being cancelled is you are forever Yes. The, the yeah, reigning <laughs> gold that's medalist yeah. in your event. Yeah, I keep saying I think that's going to be a pub quiz question in 20 years' time. <laughs> yes. It will be. It will, we might, it might be one that we might actually get right. Yeah. You're paying attention over there? <laughs> Are you paying attention? Do you get that one? Uh, I am familiar with pub quizzes that I fail at, but I will make sure to get <laughs> an Imogen and Emily into a question. It's been lovely uh, seeing you. you today. Thank you so Thank much. You so Congratulations. Much.